Hey everybody, Kyle from Kyle Tech here, live yet again from the sunroom. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. So the star of tonight's show is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch edition. And you might be asking me, well, Kyle, this is a device that came out much earlier in the year. Why are you reviewing this now? Well, two reasons. One is I did not yet review this on my channel. And two, uh, I had one when it came out and then it was stolen, which kind of sucks. Uh, and I really liked the device and replaced it. So I thought I should review it. It's, it is a piece of tech that Kyle likes, you know, part of the uh, idea of the channel. And also the holidays are coming up. So I thought maybe people who are looking for a cool piece of technology uh, might be interested in some thoughts about it um, in case you either want to get a tablet for the first time uh, or you're looking to upgrade. So let's uh, dive in quickly. So again, as I said, iPad Pro, 12.9 uh, inch. So I'll turn around here. Uh, this is the one terabyte model. Um, these can go up to two terabytes if you're doing lots of stuff, uh, video and um, photo editing, some coding, um, Word documents. So you can get a lot of storage on these devices. Uh, this is the version with the M1. Uh, which is the same, very same M1 that you find um, in Apple's newest computer. So uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch, iMac, uh, MacBook Air, iMac mini. So powerful. Um, and I said Wi-Fi plus cellular. So you can uh, either use it anywhere. You can use it anywhere. Um, at home, at school, in a park. Uh, you'll be connected wherever you go. 12.9 uh, inch screen. So I'll show you one time. 12.9 inch screen, liquid XDR retina display. I think I got that right. Essentially it means the resolution is great um, and you have that ProMotion 120 Hertz uh, refresh rate display. So you'll see everything will be silky smooth. Scrolling, gaming, you know, I played League of Legends Wild Rift and it looked really great. Uh, I'd not see any lag anywhere on this device. Um, anywhere in the animations and gaming, watching, whatever looks great. And it does really look great. This screen is fantastic. Uh, pretty good battery life. Gets you 10 hours. Um, a little bit less if you're using cellular data, but everyone kind of knows that with devices right now, but thought it would be worth it to mention. Got a bunch of speakers here, uh, this down here. So you get some kind of like, we'll call it surround sound. Um, as with Apple's newer iPad Pros, um, got a USB-C port here, so you can use with accessories. Um, if you bought any of Apple's dongles for when they had the, uh, well now older looking MacBook Pros, um, you can use a dongle for this. So I've plugged it in, I've, uh, projected to a display, I've used a mouse, I've, you can even like use a use it to get a US, regular USB-A for um, flash store or, you know, yeah, flash storage. Um, so you can do, a, you can do a lot with this. Uh, Apple says this is a iPad Pro and, and they really mean it. Um, what else we got here? So uh, two, I believe there are 12 uh, megapixel cameras, wide in telephoto. Um, so if you want to take some good pictures and not going to be as good as the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is shooting this video. Uh, but you will get a solid shooter uh, in case you want to bring your iPad to, you know, take photos. Uh, brand new TrueDepth camera uh, on the front. Uh, we will show you what that does in a couple minutes. And because Apple does have a uh, cool trick in store with that. Um, so the main star of this show and why Apple is trying to get you to get this uh, is the M1 chip. As I said, this is the same chip that you find in their computers and that adds quite a bit of power. Uh, in previous iPads and iPads Pro, uh, you just kind of get a revamped iPhone chip. So like, you know, A12X or A12Z. Um, and I'm not dissing those processors. Uh, plenty of benchmarks have shown that Apple's silicon stands its own and it's 
even miles above the competition. Um, the unification of hardware and software allows them to create a seamless experience. And that is true. But a phone processor uh, realistically is a phone processor. And this is a laptop processor. So what else can you do? Uh, a, you know, uh, AR applications. Um, so with the newer iPhones, you know, uh, companies have like used AR as a way like Home Depot or Ikea. Um, if you want to, you know, see how a piece of furniture looks in your room, uh, you know, there are AR based games. So the more powerful processor helps that, uh, video editing, you know, there, this can run full Photoshop Premiere Pro. So Apple says, so if you're editing, um, you get the extra power there, uh, coding, you know, I had never, as I said, I haven't noticed any stuttering, um, on this at all. And the power of the M1 shows, I'm probably not even using like half of the capability uh, here. And really it's, Apple says it's something to behold. So let's show you really quickly. I'm gonna set up a little makeshift stand here. And I'll show you something really, as I said about the camera. So I wanted to make sure we have the balance here. I'm gonna come around and grab this. All right, so here we are, iPad Pro. So I'll pick that up in a second. Sorry, guys and girls and everybody who's watching this. So let's go to FaceTime. We'll do this. So this is going to be something called Center Stage, um, which Apple uses to keep you in the center. Hey, it's Ning from Kyle Tech. Hi, Ning from Kyle Tech. How are you? So today we have our new iPad Pro, and we want to show off center stage. Um, so what that does is it keeps you in the center of the camera. So if I do something like this, it's going to track. Let's get up a little bit. You know, you're going to see a lot. Sit back down. And the whole time, the camera is tracking me to keep me in the center of the frame. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's cool. Can you do that again? I noticed the camera chasing you like when you moved away from your sitting position. Yeah, I mean like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely see it chasing you. Yes, you have to give it a couple seconds to follow you, but... um. Yes. Doing a great job. I mean, it's not trying to focus all the time, which will make the like the picture or the video blurry. I think it's doing a good job. Yeah, it's a cool little extra tweak that Apple is using. I guess maybe a nod to uh, all the video meetings we're doing nowadays. So not only does this work with FaceTime, but uh, it works with Teams and Zoom as well. So no matter where you are, you will be centered. <laughs> Well, thank you for uh, taking a couple of minutes to join in our video in any way. And I'll uh, see you later. See you. Okay. Well, that, th glad that Ning uh, was able to join us. You can see a little more as I put the camera back. So let's do this. We hopefully uh, let's do that. It's a readjust. Um, Thank you to our wonderful camera person who's helping out a lot. So a couple other small things. We're gonna get some viewing room here. Cool. So uh, this is Apple uh, accessory, uh, Apple Pencil Generation Two, different from the Apple Pencil Generation One. One major feature. Ta-da! So when you, this is how you charge your pencil. Um, and actually, mine is pairing now. But um, so. Benefits is that you now no longer have to choose between charging your iPad and your pencil. Kind of a weird design decision Apple made for generation one. Glad to see they fixed that for generation two. This also has a nice matte feel, so it doesn't feel as slippery when you're drawing um, and holding the pencil in your hand. Um, you can use this for drawing, writing notes. You can, if you like to write when you reply to messages, uh, you can do that too. So cool feature, um, great accessory. Um, Apple also has its own 
Magic Keyboard, not shown here, uh, which just kind of hooks in and gives you a keyboard and a trackpad. Excuse me. There are also plenty of uh, third-party accessories that do that. So, um, yeah, holidays are coming up. So this is the brand new iPad Pro. Um, it's really a solid device. Again, it Apple was trying to fit it somewhere in between phone and laptop. And I think they're getting closer to doing that to where you really don't need a laptop. Again, with uh, iCloud Drive and larger storage um, and the accessories, you, know, you can take this to class with you to take notes. You can take this um, to work with you to do your meetings um, and travel. So it's really a one size fits all kind of device. Um, obviously you can't make phone calls with it, but, um, without having an iPhone kind of near you, but, uh, that's besides the point. Great device. Um, I absolutely, I absolutely recommend it. Um, solid upgrade, uh, especially if you have an older iPad or you're looking to get into the tablet game. Uh, this would make a wonderful holiday gift for everybody. Um, seriously, I love it. Um, that's why I wanted to even replace it because I use it a lot at work and in my travels once things have opened up a little bit more. Uh, super solid. Uh, so that's about it from the sewing room. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Uh, leave comments. You know, if you can, you can do better or there's information you'd like to know, we'll get back to you. So again, that's Kyle from Kyle Tech. See you in the next one. Peace.